In this video, you'll get to see what viewing PDFs, MS Office documents and images looks like in a Prize Web Viewer. Let's get started. All right, here we have a PDF document open in Web Viewer. Uh, as you can see, it looks like your standard viewer. Uh, you have all the page navigation in the bottom, so you can either just scroll through your PDF document. It's all very smooth. You can also just type in the number to, for the page you wanna jump to, or you can use the arrow buttons to jump from one page to the next. If you would like to change the way that you look at a PDF document, you can go to the view controls up here so you can change it just like you would be used to from uh, other PDF viewers, go from page to page, just do like the direct switching. Uh, you can rotate pages counterclockwise as well. You can view the page as a double page uh, layout or you can have only a single page as a cover facing page as well. So if you wanna have a cover page that a person sees first and then dives into the document in the double view, that's also possible. Uh, you can also have the comparison function. If you have another file here, you can compare even in the double view um, right next to the other document. If you would like to enter full screen, you can also do that. You can enter the full screen mode here um, and you can just focus completely on viewing documents. The next thing I would like to show is the thumbnail as well as page manipulation features in my Prize Web Viewer. So you just go up here to the panel view and you open up your thumbnails just like you would in any other PDF viewer. You can see all of them. You can make them bigger to see them better. You can make them smaller. Uh, one thing that is not always common is that you also have the ability to apply a bunch of manipulation features. So for example, if you have a page that is not in the right orientation, you can just press rotate right here and it will rotate immediately uh, and you have any kind of orientation that you would like. You can also do counterclockwise and you can move pages to the top or bottom. So I can just move them around right here. Uh, you can drag them as well if you drag them around like this or you prefer the buttons. Um, it's really up to you. But you have all the page manipulation features here that you would like to do, such as replacing pages, inserting pages. Uh, you can insert a blank page. For example, on page two, I wanna insert one blank page. I could also upload another page from a document here, but right now I will just choose for the sake of demonstration, insert a blank page, and we have a little bit of a buffer before the document gets started. You can also just delete pages right from here in the page thumbnail view. So really uh, you have a lot of features available for page manipulation right from the get-go in your viewer. Okay, so what we have here is a PDF document. It's around 25 megabytes in size. It's an exported PDF from a JPEG original that is a satellite image of the city of Vancouver. And if I want to zoom in here, I can go either by the zoom button, so it will zoom in further, but I can also just go and select it directly. So let's go to 800 zoom level. Um, the document keeps loading really quickly and we want to go to the old Apprise office that we have here in downtown Vancouver. So I will now select actually mark with zoom, which means I select an area on the document that I want to zoom in. And what that really means is that instead of pressing the zoom button a million times, you can just directly select where you want to go. So let's go here to the harbor of Vancouver, the container district and just select that. And now you can see we are immediately there uh, at a zoom level of 3,993%. And at this point, of course, the, the actual document starts getting a little bit blurry, but we do have the benefit of being fully zoomed in and we can go even a little closer if we wanna just really make an annotation that will highlight a specific area. So in this case, let's just annotate Canada, Canada Place here and we can click on it and we can add what this is so that the next person can understand. And now for the sake of comparison, I would like to also show what the exact same workflow would look like uh, in terms of zooming in if we're going to a different PDF rendering engine. Okay, so now I have pdf.js open. I have it here in my window. And this is really the standard browser PDF viewing. And as you can see, if I, if I start zooming in, um, it will go to 500%, which is the limitation of pdf.js. It is significantly less than what you can achieve with WebViewer. But so let's also try a different engine altogether that is PDFium commonly forked for commercial SDKs. In the third window here, I have PDFium. I'm using the same document once again, 
and it will let me select zoom levels all the way up to 1000%, which is the set maximum for PDF on zoom. And I'll just go there right away and I'll try to select exactly the same area of the PDF document. So let me just move there. Okay, perfect. And now we see them all aligned side by side, the maximum zoom levels for PDF.js on the right, PDF Viome in the middle, and a prize web viewer on the very left. Now moving on to file formats, if you go up here to our demo library, you'll see that there's of course a lot of PDF files to choose from, but we also have Office file formats. And the great thing about viewing files in WebViewer is that all the Office file formats are supported client side in the browser, meaning there is no third party libraries or LibreOffice in, uh, dependencies that you need in order to view the files, but they're actually all client side available. If you open MS Word files, you open PowerPoint files, Excel files, they will just open client side here in the browser for your viewing pleasure. And we have all the sample documents here, but of course you're also welcome to just open your original files that you upload in order to test if you have specific files that you're curious about. You can also open images. So image formats are supported. These are some examples, PNG, TIFF and JPEG. So they will open also natively and client side in the browser. One thing to mention is that there's many other formats such as CAD files, there's DICOM, there are BIM files, audio and video even are also supported to be open in WebViewer. Those are additional add-on packages. And I will link in the description below the separate videos about those formats. And let's go over here to the file format supported by WebViewer. You see in our documentation, these are all the file formats that are currently supported. So that's actually PDF A4 is also supported as of uh, this fall. And then we have file formats from PDF 1.0 to 2.0. It's all client side. But if you do want to have a server in the background, maybe you have very complex files and you feel more comfortable supporting the performance with your own server. Uh, running in the background. You can also choose from adding WebViewer server as an additional support or custom server as well. Uh, you see here XFDF, FDF, the annotation layer of PDFs uh, is also supported in client side view specifically. Office file formats, a number of those are all available for viewing. Same with CAD formats, CAD formats uh, with WebViewer server and custom servers, image formats, all available client side. And then of course we do have uh, more specialized image formats as well as the aforementioned CAD files, BIM files, and there's some media files as well that you can view. So the last thing I would like to go into is really the performance of WebViewer. And by performance, I mean linearization of documents and WebViewer's ability to detect web optimized documents and also to have its native library to turn documents into web optimized. So most documents are not web optimized, meaning that if you do store them on your hard drive and you open them on your local computer, it's not such a big deal because you have a 30 megabyte, even it's very large, but you have a 30 megabyte document that you open from your hard drive. However, if you do open it on the web, what it really means is that you're downloading a 30 megabyte document or a 300 megabyte document, and you have to wait until the document is finished loading until you can even start to look at the first page. Now, what it means for WebViewer is that you can enable fast web view with a prizes native library. And with fast web view enabled, it will simply load the exact page that you're looking at in a small chunk and then start downloading the other chunks as they are needed. So if I open a very large document, just like our two gigabyte sample file here with 350 pages, it will load instantly. So I'll just click on that right now. And as you can see, it loads a little bit longer because it's a two gigabyte file. However, it loads pretty much instantly and I can start scrolling. And not only that, I can also go to one of the last pages right here to let's say 200, 325 and it will instantly jump to one of the last pages and it will show me the contents there and I can continue scrolling. So that's everything for this video. Let me know if you have any questions and enjoy the rest of the series. See you next time.